Hello there everybody and welcome to some American Truck Simulator with me, Justice Fist. Uh, it's been a long time since I've done an American Truck Simulator video and I thought uh, a great way to kick it off would be to look at uh, this truck mod. Uh, this is the International 9800. It's by uh, Oddfellow. And uh, this is uh, version 1.01. .01. He's made some improvements on the uh, previous version. Uh, fixed some errors with the mirrors and stuff like that. And um, yeah, I think this is a great mod, man. This is a great looking truck. Now, it's certainly not for everyone. I know uh, maybe some of you are more of a fan of uh, newer trucks um, with, you know, all the latest technology in them and, you know, uh, digital displays and stuff like that. This has sort of got that classic American cab over feel, that 80s American cab over, right? And so you're not going to find a lot in the way of digital displays and, and technology and stuff like that in this. This thing is like straight out of an 80s trucking movie, man. It's, uh, I, I love it. And uh, uh, disclaimer, um, I'm not reviewing these mods as a uh, connoisseur, right? I am not a trucker. And uh, as such, I review these mods as, uh, as a gamer, right? I'm just a fan of American Truck Simulator. And uh, so don't take uh, anything I say to be fact or based on any kind of experience. Although internationals uh, do have a kind of a special place with me. I drove a five-ton international for about four years. Uh, in the summertime, a five-ton water truck while I was going through university. So this truck has a little bit, uh, this kind of has a special little place in my heart. And uh, I'll talk about uh, more about that once we get into some gameplay. But I thought what I might do first, for those of you that are interested in this mod, is take a very brief look at um, sort of uh, the customization options. And I mean very brief, right? Just to give you an idea of, of how far you can take... Uh, uh, personalizing this truck and that and then we'll get into some gameplay footage and uh, do a job with it take it for a spin man so let's have a look uh, at those options now okay so here we are at the shop now as I said this is just a very brief look at it I'm not going to go through every single item um, I just want to give you an idea of uh, how far you can take personalizing and customizing this truck so <clears throat> cabs we have a few options um, I have this truck pretty much set up the way I like um, I like the flat roof like that, but you do have options here um, for uh, giant spoilers and, uh, you know, a high roof spoiler. However, however you like to look, I like a real uh, tough, simple, uh, straightforward look, so that's why I went with the flat top. Uh, now, you don't have anything in chassis. That's it. You get 6x4. That's it. Uh, engines. Engines. You got, you got lots of options here, man. Um, you know, anything that you would expect in sort of a vanilla truck from American Truck Simulator, right? So you can play with these all you want. I just went with just the stock one that comes with it, uh, the Detroit diesel. Um, but uh, obviously you can go, man, got all kinds of stuff here. And uh, the same goes for the transmissions. Lots of options. I went with the one that comes standard again. Um, but uh, as you can see, you know, you've got uh, you even got a six speed with retarder here. That's that's odd. Um, <laughs> uh, 18 speeds, 13. Uh, I've got the 13 myself. Um, <clears throat> but the, you've only got one page, right? So, you know, as you can see, it's not scrolling up and down. But, you know, I think that that's a lot of options uh, as far as um, truck mods go. But there also, also there, there are truck mods out there with tons of options. But uh, anyway, interior, you got the standard interior. There's not really a heck of a lot you can do with this. Um, now, the only place that I really find this mod lacking is in the paint, right? Uh, it comes with its own paint job that I'm using, which I think is awesome. It suits the truck beautifully, man. It's it's straight out of the 80s, I feel like. It's awesome. Uh, and then you've got pretty much just straight colors. And I think the reason for that is that uh, because it's a cab over, you can't paste the, um, the other paint jobs that are designs onto it because all the vanilla trucks and ATS um, have engine compartments on them, right? So... Uh, you know, those paint jobs just aren't going to wrap around the truck properly, right? So you're kind of, uh, I feel like that, that might be the reason for I could be wrong about that, but, um, you know, there you are. The, the paint, but I really like the paint job that comes with it. I think it's it suits the truck beautifully, man. <clears throat> now, uh, as you can see, I'm not going to go through each and every one of these, but you've got lots of options, man, lots of options. And, um, you know, just have at her, man. You know, the uh, inside the cab here, uh, you got all the stuff that you would expect, man. You know, you can put your GPS where you like. You know, you put your can of Coke there. You can put your bag on the seat. Whatever you want to do, man. I think it's uh, I think it's good, man. And it's not overly done, you know. Um, so, yeah. And there, there was one... This is one thing I didn't put on there. And I actually wanted to have a look at this. So, I am going to put this on. Um, but uh, other than that... Um, 
that's it, man. You know, you got pretty much what you would expect. Okay, so here we are then. We've got our load. Uh, as you can see, this is a heavy haul load. It's a uh, milling machine, 43 tons, and it's going to the Albuquerque Rail Export. I don't think I've ever been to the Albuquerque Rail Export, so this should be fun. Also, um, I just downloaded the Heavy Haul DLC um, a few days ago. I've sort of been holding off because I haven't been playing a lot of American trucks. So this is actually my first Heavy Haul as well. So uh, this should be fun. Now, obviously, when I saw this job come up, uh, I was like, Heavy Haul, sweet. Um, but I had to run back uh, to the garage, obviously, and make a few modifications to the truck. Um, so the truck now is not set up the way you just saw. Uh, what I did was I added the uh, 720 horsepower CAT engine, and I put an 18-speed transmission with retarder on it. Uh, you know, just to make sure that uh, we can pull this load around nice and easy, not going to have any troubles on hills or anything like that. So this old International now is effecti effectively a, just a monster. It's a beast. I'm going to be scaring little children, you know? <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Um, so, uh, yeah, as you can see now, it's uh, part of this uh, trip is going to be done at night, unfortunately. I know it doesn't make for great gameplay video, but um, it's not it's not late in the night. It's more early morning, right? So we will get a, a nice sunrise eventually, which uh, always makes for some uh, scenic driving. So, uh, you know, it's all good. And I, I kind of enjoy uh, hauling uh, loads at night because... There's just less traffic, less traffic to deal with, right? Except for, well, in this case, uh, we may run into traffic in the early morning. Uh, you sort of get the early morning rush hour traffic, you know, it should be a bit of a pain, but uh, it's a small price to pay for, uh, you know, getting that nice scenic uh, sunrise and all of that, so it should all be good. So as I was saying, the International. Now, um, man, odd fellow. He did a great job on this, man, and uh, I'm going to leave a link uh, in the description to his um, YouTube page, and I'll also leave a link, uh, a direct download link where you can download this truck, and I'll leave a link to the web page where I downloaded it because he provides a, a description there. And um, so, I mean, if you end up downloading this truck and driving it around and you really like it, I mean, the least you can do is subscribe to his page, right, to help, help him out. And uh, also on the uh, web page uh, where I found this, are uh, some links to how you can help him out monetarily if uh, you're so inclined. Um, because again, in my opinion, he just did a great job on this, and so uh, you want to see more, you know, help him out. Like, uh, you know, I didn't help him out monetarily either. I don't have any money, but you know, at least subscribe to his channel and uh, let him know that you like his stuff, man. Because uh, really, that's what mod authors do this for, right? So, anyway. So, yeah, the international man. Like I said, I, I drove a five-ton international. Uh, I think it was an 87. I don't know, it was a few years back now, I don't really remember, but um, man, this thing is like nostalgic for me, man. That that wood paneling, oh yeah, nailed it, nailed it. And the uh, the tachometer and the, speed, the speedometer there, dead on, man, right on the money. That, that five ton that I drove looked just like that. And not to mention these, these big clunky um, indicator lights that run up and down the left and right side of the steering wheel. Yep. Nailed that too, man. Except in the five ton that I drove, those lights were uh, located sort of going uh, horizontally just above the tachometer and speedometer, but uh, they were the exact same design, man. <laughs> it's just like, wow. The only big difference here is um, uh, all those switches on the right, on the right hand side there. Uh, that was the radio stack in the uh, five ton that I drove, but uh, you know, the five ton that I drove, it was a five ton. It's not heavy duty like this. It wasn't even air brake, actually, it was hydraulic brake. Um, so I didn't have a lot of these extra dials here for air and turbo and stuff like that. I certainly didn't have a jaybreaker retarder or anything like that. And it wasn't a cab over, it was, uh, had the engine out in front. Uh, typical uh, American style. But, uh, yeah. And, um, you know, as usual, I'm, uh, I'm driving the truck with a PS3 controller, so you'll have to excuse my driving a little bit if I'm a little, uh, jerky with it. It's been a long time since I've played American Truck Man, and so I, uh, have to get my finesse back, you know? A, if you play with a gamepad, you know it takes a certain amount of finesse to drive nice and smooth and keep it between the lines. But uh, I'm sure we'll see even improvement in that. Uh, even just as we go through this video, it'll come back to me, man. It's like riding a bike, you know? And uh, you probably noticed already as well that I'm using a uh, track IR. Um, I don't know. Gotta have it, in my opinion, man. Gotta have it. It's just awesome. So, anyway, as usual, I'm going to take a sip of beer here.
so what I thought we'd do now, <clears throat> since we've got some time taking a drive, giving this a test run, um, I thought I'd talk a little bit about sort of the real world truck that this, uh, that this mod is uh, sort of representing here. Now, disclaimer, major, major disclaimer here, boys and girls. What I'm about to tell you about this truck uh, is not my own knowledge. It's not even really my own research, okay? Uh, the information I'm going to give you about this truck I found on Wikipedia. Now, you should know this already about Wikipedia. It's not very reliable, okay? <laughs> Don't ever take anything you find if you, on Wikipedia as, as a factor 100% accurate because it just isn't. It, it, you know, this is, this is strictly just for fun just in as far as this information would be useful in a gameplay video. Nothing more than that, and I'm sure there are those of you out there that are um, truck enthusiasts, and probably a lot of you that uh, are actual truckers and have been doing it for a long time, and maybe you've even driven one of these, maybe you do drive one of these. Um, and as such, not only would you know a hell of a lot more about this than I do, you probably know a hell of a lot more about this than Wikipedia does. So, basically, what I'm saying is, don't shoot the messenger. I just took some bullet point notes uh, off the Wikipedia page that I thought would be uh, fun to talk about in the video, since we're doing a video about this truck anyway, right? So that's all it is, man. Don't shoot the messenger. If uh, any of this information is wrong, feel free to uh, correct correct me in the uh, or correct Wikipedia in the comments section of this video. Absolutely, and also give me some feedback. How, what do you think about this sort of format for American Truck Video? I know a lot of people don't really do this, so I'm trying something out, trying something new out here. You guys are. Uh, my guinea pigs, <laughs> basically. So, that's that. Now, <clears throat> so yeah, the inter International 9800. Uh, according to Wikipedia, it is part of a series of trucks uh, called International Newport Series. So, um, and again, uh, these. Um, well, it says here that these were um, in production in the U.S. between 1981 and 1998, so kind of a short run, but, uh, you know, this is, um, this is part of the sort of second generation of these trucks. Um, the early ones were the uh, international, I guess, I guess you can call them Newports, right, since they're part of the Newport series, the Newports uh, 9600s, and there's actually... Um, a picture of one on the Wikipedia page, which uh, I will link in the description as well if you want to have a look at the uh, Wikipedia page yourself. I will leave a link to it in the description. Uh, but there's a picture there of one. It's actually got a dumper on it. So it's a dump truck. So I guess they could be ordered, you know, in uh, different formats, I suppose. Um, you know, you didn't have to get it with a third wheel, big rig style. But uh, anyway. So yeah, so this one's a 9800, so the 9700 and 9800 um, sort of differed from the 9600 in a few ways, but uh, the main thing here, according to what I'm seeing, was um, the addition on the 9700 and 9800 of a setback front axle. Um, so pretty easy to recognize a uh, 97 or 9800 from a 9600. Uh, and um, what this allowed was uh, for a complete redesign of the interior. Right, and most importantly, uh, the this allowed the uh, floor and the cap to be completely flat. That is, uh, without the uh, engine compartment uh, separating the driver and passenger seats. Now, it doesn't sound like a big deal, but you know this is pretty common in uh, cab overs, right? Um, but the thing is that, uh, or the main thing that this allowed was walk-in access to the sleeper compartment, right? Which I, I don't know if that was not a thing in the 9600 or if it just was just really awkward, like, I don't know if you had to access the sleeper from outside, or, or just, I would imagine it just made it really awkward, right? Uh, so, you know, uh, pretty, pretty smart improvement, right? Sounds practical, right? And uh, so, yeah, other improvements. A few, like, minor things, right? They, they say here that uh, they also uh, gave the 97 and 9800 sort of some aerodynamic enhancements. Um, lower body skirting, um, enhanced front bumper, whatever the hell that means. And, um, yeah, a higher roof in the sleeper compartment. 
And I think that's what we see in some of the um, the options for the the body of this truck uh, that you have on the mod here. You can get the really high high roof sleeper. Um, I went with the uh, flat top, of course, because I like the sort of uh, tough bruiser look. But um, yeah, and maybe the spoilers and two and stuff like that that are uh, available for this mod uh, maybe fall under the uh, aerodynamic enhancements. You know, I don't know. But anyway, so as I said, production in the U.S. stopped in 98, but um, it continued elsewhere. Um, according, again, to Wikipedia here, there's a third generation of this trucks, or the Newport series of trucks, uh, called the 9800i. Uh, and they were in production between 99 and 2015, so up until pretty recently, right? Um, but not, not so much uh, in North America, right? Um, uh, it says something here yeah, so the the tooling and all that was sent out uh, to Brazil, apparently, for the 9800i, um, and ended up being exported uh, throughout South America. Uh, so it was made with a right-hand drive and all of that, uh, and some were even exported to uh, Australia and South Africa. So, so this truck's uh, you know got some history to it, man. I mean, from '81 to 2015, these things were being made. So, uh, and it says here that it even even up until August of last year, August 2017, the truck was still sold in, a, in South Africa. So, there you go. Not as old a truck as, as you might think, right? <laughs> so, there you have it. That's about all that I really found interesting about this truck. On the, Like I said, I'll leave a link to the Wikipedia page uh, in the video description if you want to check it out for yourself. Um, I also found something inter something else interesting about this truck because um, I just googled it, right, <laughs> and saw what come up. I didn't dig too deep, right? I mean, I, I, I went to Wikipedia, of course. <laughs> uh, but um, a website called uh, truckpaper.com. Um, I will um, leave a link uh, to this in the description as well if you if you want to have a look at this just for fun. But they have some of these for sale. They have some 9800s uh, for sale, um, and the price range, uh, well. According to the ones they have up there now, um, the prices range from 15 to 20,000 uh, US dollars. So if you're going to buy one of these right now in real life, uh, you expect to pay something in that range. I find that kind of funny, kind of interesting. But uh, anyway, okay. That's uh, well. That's really all. All, all I really have to say about this right now. I mean, you know, just very brief uh, information. As I said, don't take any of that to be 100% factual. Uh, it's all Wikipedia stuff. But uh, I thought, I guess for, from now on, for the rest of the drive, I'll just cut the commentary here. I'm sure you're tired of listening to me yak your ears off here. But um, anyway, before I do that, I just once again I want to give props to Oddfellow, uh, the mod author. Uh, I really do love this truck. I think it's awesome. And uh, I think he did a bang up job, man. And so as I said, I will leave links to uh, where you can download the truck, the website I downloaded it from, uh, Oddfellow's uh, YouTube channel. It will all be there in the video description. And um, yeah, and to everyone else, man, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy the video and I uh, will catch you in the next one.